Hey guys, today we're going to walk you guys through how to connect to a database via uh, PHP. And uh, the most useful function of PHP, I guess, is its ability to interact with databases online. And that's the reason why we use PHP. So instead of doing too many other tutorials on uh, things like uh, validation of forms and all of that. I'm just going to go straight to the core of PHP and show you guys how to make it um, interact with databases and then we'll come back to PHP later on and show you the uh, finer details of what it can do uh, with handling forms and things like that. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is set up your database on your local um, server. So if you uh, get exam up and running, so just like before uh, you got exam started and now what I want you to do is in your browser type in localhost slash exam and then what you need to do is on the left hand side click on security and what I want you to do now is go down to the middle of the page where it says uh, HTTP and it gives you an address where you can alter the security settings of your server and what I want you to do is in the first half of this page where it says my SQL section root password I want you to set up a password for your uh, my SQL database and the reason for that is because uh, we want a password here because usually a database that you connect to is going to have a password and so uh, it's better for us to get used to that mode of thinking where you can only connect to the database with a password now just keep in mind that it's not a great idea to set up a web server using exempt uh, alone. Uh, you probably should be setting up a web server somewhere more secure rather than on your home PC with exempt. So uh, this is really just for you guys to learn how to uh, log how to connect to a database rather than uh, doing this for real so set up a password here once that's done go back to your home page and I want you to click on PHP my admin now you will see that once you click on it uh, now it requires you to type in a username and password. If that didn't work, if it's still letting you in without typing in a password, go back to the home page and restart your exam uh, by clicking stop on both the Apache and MySQL and then starting again on both modules to restart your web server and that will ensure that the password you have set is now in effect so now we click on PHP my admin and put in the password that you have set for me it's just A B C D E F G click go and now you can go into your local host and uh, so what I'm gonna do now is go to databases click the databases and these are the databases that you have on your server on your MySQL server and 
you'll see that one of them says test alright and if you click on test it doesn't have any tables in the database which is what we want right now now if that database is not there then what I need you to do is create it so click uh, just type a name for your database and click create and that way it'll create a database that is empty right but if you have an empty database in which case we do call test then it should work okay now you can close this and we want to go back to our HT docs folder so in C drive exam HT docs I've created a, a empty PHP file called connectdb.php and what I'm gonna do is in notepad 2 I'm gonna type in the code for this connectdb.php uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, type in the code that is used to connect to the database and to connect to the database the first thing you need is actually a variable and we're gonna call this uh, it can be whatever you want but I'm just gonna call it uh, con connection alright so this variable uh, will allow us to uh, connect uh, to the database okay so the function that you use to connect to the database is my SQL I underscore connect bracket uh, quotation mark and the first thing you type in is uh, local host which is where we're connecting to and our login name is root our password is abcdefg and the database that we're connecting to is called tests if you remember it's an empty database now the connection to the database will be stored in this variable called connection and the reason why uh, we have that connection stored in the variable is we can check whether this connection is live so we can put it in an if statement if and we check my SQLI underscore connect underscore error in O bracket and put your variable in that function basically this is saying that if it does not connect if there is an error in the connection then we're gonna echo uh, fail to connect alright uh, and we're also gonna attach um, the due to we're going to attach the, the error my sqli underscore connect underscore error so this will show us what the error is else we're going to say echo connection established now remember to add semicolons to all your coding and uh, to indent the code so you can see what's happening here okay so if I save this and I run this file in Chrome so inside your browser type localhost slash connectdb.php 
and it says connection established now just to make sure that this is really working try typing in a different password so for example if I type H in the password and I save and I refresh this file it now says access denied so this proves to you that we just connected to the database now it says connection established again okay hope you guys found this tutorial useful in connecting to your MySQL database see you guys next time